Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another map by map completionist guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back and we're going to be going through the map The Dust which uh, is a big map with lots of things, loads of bosses to farm. This is a little map overview right now and uh, basically I'm just going to show you guys one big round route where we can go everywhere around the map, pick up all the uh, challenges and uh, farm all the bosses, open all the chests etc etc. So uh, first of all we'll just look at the challenges that we've got to complete on this. Uh, if you're not first you're last um, which is uh, going around the Hoduck Speedway within the time limit. I've got a crush on you, have a buddy crush you in the car crusher. Dust to dust um, is actually uh, uncover the history behind the Zafford Hodunk feud, free echo logs. The van is damned, you've got to find and loot the roaming caravan. And then finally call to the vault, free hidden vault symbols. I'll be showing you where to get all of them. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's start this thing off. So the first thing we want to do is head over here to the front of Ellie's garage near the entrance, just to the left hand side. This is your first echo log. So pick that up nice and easy. Uh, and then to this car crusher right here. Now, uh, I'm obviously playing solo, so I won't be getting this challenge. But all you've got to do is stand in there, have a friend or a, rival, you know, a player that's joined you. Just basically flick that switch and uh, you will get crushed to death, as you can see. And uh, then basically, uh, that is the challenge done. You can then do it to him if he hasn't got it and get, he gets the challenge as well. But unfortunately, I can't complete that because I'm a loner on Boardland. Uh, I can get people in if I want to. Anyway, head behind her... Uh, um, Ellie's garage and uh, this area is full of spider ants now keep a close eye for the uh, the ones with the yellow back on them They will be tubbies obviously you can get the uh, legendary and pearlescent gear from them uh, After that at this gauntlet you want to be looking for this spot right here because that is the spot where the black queen spawns She is not here for me right now But I'll edit in some footage in a minute of me actually killing the black queen She has a random chance of spawning she'll spawn every two three runs uh, probably uh, if not you'll certainly get within five uh, after that head to the right hand side climb this little uh, hillside here to this house because you've got your first chest of the level to open up be very careful there are a lot of enemies around here um, so you don't want to go down anyway jump down here and that is the spot where the black queen spawns uh, as you can see right here I'm using a, uh, a higher level zero character to actually get her to spawn this time but uh, you can get her uh, available at any time there's no missions to get her to spawn or anything like that she has a chance to drop the legendary Nukem rocket launcher, so make sure you keep going back to farm her because uh, that is a very good rocket launcher to get. Anyway, that is her killed. After that, we'll carry on with the run with our uh, first completionist character. Uh, head back on yourselves and then head up this hill to the left hand side. We're going to be facing Mobley and Gettle. Um, you need to get a challenge um, to actually get them to spawn uh, a side mission, but when they do, Mobley will drop the legendary Ver Veruk assault rifle and Gettle will drop the legendary Lyuda sniper rifle. The Veruk's not bad really, but the Lyuda is very, very good. Um, so we'll get Gettle down first. He didn't drop the sniper rifle, but we've got a bit of luck on Mobley right here and we managed to get ourselves. Uh, his drop first time which will pop out just here very good that's uh, obviously legendaries any legendaries in the first playthrough especially at my level of 21 are very good so you, this will uh, help me out no end for all the uh, remaining guides coming up anyway to the left of this church where uh, Mobley first comes out there is another uh, green dial chest open that up and then head down to the right hand side of the church and uh, get yourself a car because we're going to be going to uh, a little area straight in front slightly to the right just be aware that there is some vending machines just here if you want to top up on ammo or health. Uh, and then head to this uh, little uh, area, bandit camp, with a big huge black p hold pipe in there. To the left hand side as you come in there is your second echo log, pick that up. And then there's another green dial chest on your right hand side just there. Now I do go down here so I'll speed this little bit up, I was just trying to clear some enemies. Anyway, um, look out for this as well, this is your caravan. Uh, it's an announcement at night randomly. Uh, that he will be coming. They come from uh, the way to Iridium Blight, so we've got enough time to get this vault symbol, which you've got to park all your way up to just here. Pick that up, and that's your second vault symbol. No, sorry, that's your first vault symbol. Anyway, after that, get back to your car and uh, head towards the caravan. Like I said, it will be coming out of this area here where you go to Iridium Blight, but if uh, it takes you a bit longer, it will just basically follow the route all the way up to. Uh, or where you first come into the dust from Freehorn's Divide. Anyway, all you've got to do is stop in front of this caravan, block your way, uh, block his way off so you don't go anywhere, jump on the back of it and there's a green dial chest on the side here. Now, I go down here, so I'm just going to edit it back when I come into it. Uh, and he's uh, got a bit triggered actually, so he's trying to drive off right now. 
Watch out for these bandit technical guys as well, because they do run you over uh, and can be very annoying. Anyway, back on track. After that, we're going to go uh, behind that for, um, second area where we've got the second echo log, because uh, this is where the Zaffod and Hodunks spawn. Um, you need to pick one side, basically, whichever side you pick, that is who you will get for the rest of the playthrough. You can change your pick in the next playthrough to get other stuff. Mig Zafford will drop the legendary Maggie Pistol. Detector Ho Dunk will drop the uh, legendary Slagger. So depending on what you want, that's the side you want to pick. There's Mig Zafford killed, and unfortunately, nothing at all. Anyway, you can clear the rest of the enemies here, which I'll edit out right now, and then run up this ramp and uh, come down to uh, this area here. Duck down, because there's another small green dial chest right there. Um, so you might want to pick that up while you're here. Nice little purple uh, grenade right there for me. Anyway, get back in your truck and just go behind you. Um, turn around from where you've just come. Nothing major here, just pointing out once again there's two vending machines just there if you want to top up on more stuff near the entrance to the highlands. And then after that we're just going to make our way to that big ramp in the centre of the map right here because we're going to go up into the buzzard camp uh, to pick up a couple of things. So ramp up, stick to the right hand side, it's much quicker. Run all the way to the end and look for this uh, kind of helipad looking area right here. Run all the way around to the back and you're going to be looking for the big gap area where you can get underneath. Uh, so look around here, look you can't get underneath any of this bit. But if you go to the other side you can get under this scaffolding because there is a vault symbol right here to pick up. That's your uh, second vault symbol so go ahead and get that. And then just make your way through the buzzard camp a little bit to the stairs on the left hand side. Run all the way up there. There is a small green dial chest to open up. After that, just jump up and run back and make your way further down the buzzard camp. Head to the right hand side and on top of this area here. Uh, climb this little ladder and run right to the end. And there is another small green dial chest to open up. Open that up and uh, then we'll head to the third chest, which is the best one of the whole map probably. Uh, and that is a big red dial chest here, right at the end of the buzzard camp. That is probably one of the best chests in the game to get yourself a legendary or even a pearlescent. Anyway, jump behind where you just come down, head down here, get yourself a car and then come down here because there is a boss right here. The power of editing on my uh, Zero character who's uh, filling in for these will uh, kill McNally right now. He's pretty easy really. He drops the legendary Hammer Buster Assault Rifle so make sure you uh, go ahead and farm him. It's pretty quick to get to him from the fast travel so if you want to multi-farm him that is a good idea. Behind McNally's hut is the uh, another small dial chest. Open that up and then head on back to your car once again. And we're just going to make our way into the Hodunks area right here. A couple of things to do right here. On your left hand side there is some vending machines as you can see just there. So uh, again loads of vending machines in this map. Jump out your car just past the vending machines and just head to the left hand side of this uh, hut area. And there is your final echo of the map. So dust to dust is now complete. After that we're going to do the one where we've got to beat the time on the Hodunks speedway. The time will start just as soon as you get through that gate right there that I've just gone through there. Basically, you've just got to drive your way around this uh, course very, very quickly. I have got the afterburner relic on for this. You don't have to have it to complete it. Uh, just basically take this shortcut that I'm going to take on the right hand side here, and that should give you enough time. Right here, don't go around it, go to the right of it, cut that corner, and then uh, if you're in within the time, then you can basically get the challenge just there. So if you're not first, you're last, it's done. If not, you've got to head out of the whole area, um, quit out, come back in and try it again, basically, to get it. Anyway, make your way all the way back round, and then just under this bridge to the left hand side, climb these stairs right here. We're going after our final vault symbol. Make your way all the way to the very top, and then to the right hand side, cross this like big uh, metal bridge area, and then just turn to the left, jump over this gap, head round the back, and just behind this fence is your final vault symbol. So that is all the challenges done that we can, uh, we're just going after a final chest right here, where that shortcut was, just make your way around it, climb this ladder here to where that pyrotechnician guy was you had to kill for the uh, one of the clan war missions, and pick up your final dial chest right there. So there you go guys, that is everything that you need to know about um, the map The Dust. We'll just check right here, all the challenges are done, obviously apart from the one about getting your friend to crush you in the crusher. Uh, so that is all the challenges for your badass rank done for this map, that is all the chests picked up, loads of vending machines on this map as well, uh, to check for good gear and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, five bosses. Now I just want to say, the reason why I had to uh, change to that zero character a lot, um, not with a Black Queen, uh, she does spawn straight away, or Mobley and Ghetto, you can get the missions very early, is uh, things like McNally um, and um, the Zafford Hodunks and stuff like that, are further missions in the storyline so you've got to go to other maps to get to them. I'm trying to do this progressively map by map. If I can't quite get to uh, the bit I want 
um, before actually filming it I will show you where the bosses spawn but obviously you can come back here at any time uh, and do this uh, so yeah that is basically a quick explanation if that makes sense anyway thanks for watching everyone that was Matt by Matt Completionist Guide number 9 The Dust thank you guys for watching really hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one Neat bicycle!